I don't think my esophagus can hold up much longer. Uh, uh. Oh, my arthritis and bursitis are kicking in too at the same time. How about that? Uh. I've got to get out of here, Sarge. I know, you're too preaching on the quiet, dude. Really? Oh, this is too much. If you get out of here, I'm buying you some donuts. Oh, I don't eat donuts. What kind of a cop doesn't eat donuts? Uh, Can't believe this. I think he's leaving stretch marks on me here. Oh, baby. We've got to get out of here, Sarge. I know we do. I don't know how we're going to do this. Come on. Use our heads, baby. Use our heads. You know, they didn't graduate us from the police academy without, uh, you know, without some intelligence, did they? Speak for yourself, Sarge. Oh, you're right. You're the intelligent one. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll this figure isn't it. working. Oh, uh, man. The harder we hide it, pull, the worse it gets. I guess that was the, the captor's idea, right? I don't oh, know. Man. He doesn't talk to me anymore. He didn't talk to me at all. Oh, baby. Uh, well, at least if we were thrown overboard in a, in a life jacket we, we could be using for that with this with this ropes I think we'd be safe I think the ropes are cutting off your blood supply to your brain you're talking <laughs> gibberish yeah I may be having a stroke actually <laughs> Densmore you've been eating a lot of donuts look like you're gaining some weight there it's true Sarge uh, but we're undercover now so I had to use a disguise and I gained weight and got rid of my hat should help okay well is losing the hat help you see better? Because uh, it looked like the hair was in your eyes before. Well, that's the problem I have to deal with. Okay. Well, you, so far, you, it's not really been helpful because we're stuck here in this uh, predicament. Shouldn't you have retired last year? Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to, but, I, but they, they cut my free donuts, and that was it. They said, if you're going to retire, you don't get free donuts, so I decided to stay on. And that makes sense. I mean, hey, you can't get free donuts once you retire, right? Why should you be allowed to? There's you can't do more stakeouts if you're free off, you know, if you can't eat the, donuts. Sarge, there's more to life than donuts. Like there those, is? Uh, those two like girls. What? Those girls. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, let's get them up here. If surprised we ever get out of here. The, the Blansky twins, remember? Oh, those, those, oh, those broads. Woo. Yeah, I don't know. I, that, was, <laughs> that was more like a whale watch. It gave a whole new meaning to the term way of watching. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's okay. I feel better doing this than I was with the Blansky twins. That was pretty bad. Well, you know what? We're not in that big of a trouble. Uh, I told Sergeant Bluebaker where we would be, and if we're not back in an hour, he's coming to get us. Oh, that makes me feel a lot better. I don't know what to do. I don't even know how to run this thing. Where's Densmore? Uh so does Brubaker even know where we're at? I, I told Brubaker where we're at, and he'll be here in an hour if we're not back. I know, but I don't know if I have enough oxygen left for an hour here. These ropes are pretty tight. Stick in there. Stay in there, Sarge. Well, of course I'm going to stay in there. How else can I do it here? That's the only thing I can do is stay in there. You wouldn't happen to have a uh, pocket knife, would you? Because I'm thinking, you know, I forgot mine at home. I was actually, I was actually using it to cut off a boil on my uh, big toe. And I think I dropped it on the way because the boil was so strong that it knocked it right out of my pocket. Sarge, you're telling me too much about yourself.
Oh, okay. Well, what are we supposed to do when we're sitting here waiting for Brubaker to show up? We might as well talk about ourselves. What else can we talk about? Well, Unless you could think of something. Well, I remember when I first became a cop. Okay. Nobody knows oh, yeah, you're that. right. We shouldn't talk too much about ourselves. You've already borne me to tears. All right. We'll talk about let's talk about each other then. What I I think you're uh, we, we, let's let's take let's take uh, fun pokes at each other. Uh, you need a haircut. What about that? Now you say something about me. How about you, that? You need longer hair. Oh, you're right. I do. I can't help it though. I'm not as young as I used to be. Well, I'm a detective, and this detective here goes with the detectiveness. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, that makes sense. I guess Burt Reynolds would agree on that one. You look at every detective on television. And they all have some type of thing, long hair, red hair. Oh, yeah? You ever see Dragnet? I don't think so. You ever see, you ever see Officer Bill Gannon or Joe Friday? Those guys have those guys have hair cut down to their bare knob of their skulls. That was in the 1920s. Well, not this quite the, the 20s. This is the 2000s. Oh, okay, yeah, you're talking. Okay, I didn't realize you were, you were dating yourself here. No offense. You know what I mean by dating yourself. I don't mean like uh, you're having a date with yourself, right? You know what I meant. Who told you that? Oh, I don't know. I just figured it out. I must have read it in a fortune cookie when we were, we were, we were banned from the donut shop for taking all the bagels, so we were in the Chinese restaurant instead. You know what I hope? What? That the thugs don't show up. The mafioso don't show up and confront us. Well, I hope they do, because maybe, maybe they'll bring pizza. I love pizza. After all, that's all they eat, right? They love that stuff. Or pasta, too. That's really good. You know, yeah. now that we're taking digs at each other, for all the pizza and donuts you eat, you'd think you would gain a couple pounds. Oh, I know. Well, I try to keep myself in shape, so uh, that, that'll never happen. That'll never happen as long as I keep myself in shape. I have to admit, I'm very proud of that. Well, you do have two gym memberships. That's true. I don't even use either of them. I do work out at home every day. But, I, but in fact, I, I consider what we're doing here kind of a workout. You know, this is, I feel like I'm building on my biceps as I try to struggle with these these uh, ties on me here. I feel pretty. I feel like I'm getting stronger. I'm all, you know, if, I'm, if I get strong enough to break these bonds, then I really felt I would have accomplished something. But it's nice to have a reason to wake up in the morning. It so totally is. Yeah. Oh, okay. So keep pulling. Maybe we can between uh, the two of us, we can get, you know get maybe, a workout if nothing else. Maybe we can hop the chairs and hop out the door. Where's the Where's the door anyway? I can't even see it. They got me bound so it, tight. It, I can't even turn around. Here. Oh, there is? I'm looking right at it. Oh, okay. They got you on the side where the door is. Yep. They deliberately turned me away from the door because they know I'm, you know, what, they know I'm slippery. So what do you get to look at? Uh, I get to look at the cracks in the floor. That's not too bad. I can, you know, I can pretend there's something sexier than just floor cracks. <laughs> Pipe down in here. Don't have to break some teeth. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> Allow me to introduce to you the new boss of bosses. The new boss, the new don of the made men, Cadillac Capone. I'm Cadillac Capone. I heard you two were snooping around my warehouse. We're, we're not snooping around. We're looking to become made men, work for the Bob Father. The Bob Father? You didn't hear? The Bob Father's dead. He hasn't been seen in months. I'm the new boss of the Made Men. Everyone here works for me, Cadillac Capone. We want to become Made Men. Made Men? Yeah, let us prove ourselves. Yeah. You guys look like a bunch of cops to me. You guys think these guys are cops? Nah, I don't think they're cops. I smell alcohol. Oh, that's, a, that's, that's my new cologne. It's whiskey and go-go. You pick up one with that, son? No, I'm all like flies and stray dogs. <laughs> All right, let's give them a shot. Untie these guys. Get on your feet. Let's see what you guys got. All right, let's see if these guys can prove themselves. What are your names? And Bruno, he's Wimpy. Wimpy. Hit him in the face as hard as you can. Okay. Oh, what the hell is wrong with you? I just got my teeth fixed last week. Hey, 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 crazy. come on. Chill, man. We want to be made, man, don't we? Oh, you're crazy. It's all right, Bruno. It's your turn. 
My pleasure. I think you busted my cannoli here. Not bad. But we can take it. We want to be made men and we're proving it, baby. These guys might be made men material after all. Uh-huh. See, I told you. That's right. Now let's talk about this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, brother. I don't know, brother. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's starting to be crazy. I don't know. What are we going to do? Let's give him another shot here. All right. All right. All right. Great. All right. We'll give you guys a couple more tests. You're on your way to becoming made man, but I'm not impressed yet. Well, we'll we show you we got what it takes. We can do it. We can do it. We'll see about that. Okay. All right, boys. You want to run a couple more tests before you can be made men. Let's see what you got. All right, hands on your head. Right hand, top of your head. Left hand on your belly. What's wrong with you? Huh? Right hand, top of your head. Left hand, your belly. Right hand stays on the top of your head. Left hand. I don't know, brother. Cadillac. This isn't working. We need to run a couple more tests, all right? More tests? Yeah, we can do it. All right. You we guys, can do it. we'll steal that bike over there. Okay. You heard me. That bike, it's ours now. <laughs> oh, you know what? I gotta feed the meat. I'll be right back. Hey, they're cops! I knew there was something wrong with these guys. Get them! Oh, hey, look! Pickle flying! I love bacon! see any pigs up there. Wait a minute. Where'd they go? I want you to find those pigs, dead or alive. You know what? When we get through with them, they're gonna be like a bacon sandwich. A bacon sandwich? Yeah, that, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, get me one of those bacon sandwiches while you guys are looking for them, too. You're the boss. Mm, I love bacon. I just call blue bacon. He's not answering. I'm a sucker for a happy ending. 